Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. What I've heard about bears, they don't always attack you, right? Unless you, like, fuck with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> Pro depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% oh, a bear, which is, like, terrifying to say, but... Definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> I would say, I would say a man. Women were asked. <laughs> You'd rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Man is scary. Um, with a bear. What I've heard about bears, they don't always attack you, right? So maybe a bear. <laughs> Pro depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% oh, a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but... The responses from men have been terrifying. The men stitching the video have been like, <laughs> These bitches talking about they'd rather stay in the woods with a bear! But I bet you you'd be asking me to protect you if that bear were to do anything to you, huh? That's why I can really appreciate the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, the 60s, and the 50s. Those women allowed us to scare them. They allowed us to <laughs> them. These new bitches are like, oh, I'ma protect myself. I'd rather stay with a bear. A bear. Could you, could, does a bear have a penis? Can, does a bear, can a bear provide to pay the bills? Calm down, Jedediah. No, because they acting like we a threat or something. That shit, that shit makes me wanna. That shit make me wanna do what they say we're gonna do. That shit make me wanna do what they afraid we're gonna do. Hey, I'm not mad that they chose to be with the bears. Okay, all them hoes go get eaten up by bears, and we can be what real men do. What real men do. Play PS5, drink beers, diddle each other's dung lines. If I was stuck in the woods and I had to pick between a bear and a man, I've been hearing a bunch of people's stories and totally understand why we would pick a bear. I totally understand why we would pick a bear. And someone said something interesting. They're like, um, it's based on your lived experience. Like if you had been assaulted, if you've been, um, you know, domestic violence, like if you had really bad experience with men over and over again, you would probably pick a bear because you feel safer around bears because you don't have experience with bears directly, but you have a lot of bad experience with men. And I'm like really, and then me, like me thinking when I heard this, I'm like, would I pick a bear or a man? And my thing is like, honestly, I just feel like I, I am such a big girl and I'm so like, you know, strong, very strong girl okay i'm a big girl i'm a strong girl i just feel like i could take him you know like i you know what i mean like if, if we're talking about there's no weapons there's no knife there's no nothing you know what i mean there's no pew pews there's no nothing like that and it's just me and this man in the middle of the woods in the dark i could hide behind a tree i could climb a tree i can see where he's at take up a big rock and bash him on the side of the head with it you know what i mean like i'm ready to fight i'm ready to go i'm ready to go and i feel like with the bear bears live in the woods that's their element you know what i mean like they're so comfortable in the woods it'll be it'll be night day whatever they know those woods because that's their home you can't find me in the woods i'm allergic to trees like i can't even be in the woods i can't do none of that so i'm just saying like okay take a, a city girl a city boy put them in the woods all right who's gonna who's gonna get who first and i just feel like i can take him what y'all think Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? So maybe a bear. <laughs> Pro depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% oh, a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but definitely a bear. I agree with these women. If it were me and I was alone in the woods, I would prefer to see a bear than a man. It's not a bear that's roofing women. It's not a bear that is involved in smex trafficking. It's not a bear that women have to fear whenever they divorce that man or break up with that man. It's not a bear. It's a man. I genuinely feel like it should be disheartening for men to realize that so many women would rather take their chances with an animal than one of them. Not all men are dangerous. Not all men need to be feared. But there are so many of you that turned a blind eye to your friend, your frat brother, your cousin, your brother, neighbor. We, so many men that you know are dangerous and that women should fear, but you say nothing about it. Truthfully, if men were honest and they were alone in the woods, even they would take their chances with a bear than another man. 
So that black man that's going around your For You page with the patchy beard and the fading hairline who's a misogynist and lives in Florida and thinks he can tell women what to do and he doesn't understand why we would pick the bear over a man in the woods. Yeah, I'm not going to stitch his video because that's what he wants. But before I break down why his video has more comments than likes, here's a little clip of it. That should have been, the way that question should have been asked, would you rather be in the lost in the woods with a bear that wants to kill you or a man that wants to kill you? With a bear that wants to harm you or a man that wants to harm you? So that you could get the real fucking answers. I ain't never hit a woman violently. I ain't never put a violent hand on a woman. I ain't never sexually assaulted a woman. No, none of that. Ever. Now, I ain't never even called a woman out of her fucking name. Not to her face. Yeah, that last part was real telling. Not to her face, huh? He's the type of misogynist that feels like because he hasn't put his hands on a woman, it's okay to mentally and emotionally abuse them. And especially verbally abuse them because you admitted to doing that on camera. But here's the point I want to make. Do you all remember that show, I Survived? What I always thought was very interesting about that show was that the men were always trying to survive a boat wreck or getting lost in the woods or bitten by a shark where the women were always, I survived, a man. So I figured we'd do a little social experiment for all the misogynists out there who are so stupid and show you all the topics of the first season of I Survived. Episode one, season one. A woman is graped, pew pew three times and left for unalivement. A man is caught in a blizzard that threatens to bury him alive and two boys survive a plane crash. Episode two, a hitchhiker turns on two girls who picked him up Three men are stranded on an island for 13 days. Two people are kidnapped at gunpoint by hitchhiker. Episode three, the crew of a ferry abandons the boat and its passengers when the vessel begins to sink. A woman is trapped with an attacker for days. A man is attacked by his neighbor. Episode four, a woman plays dead after being assaulted by her boyfriend. A man gets stuck in a frozen stream while snowmobiling, a federal prosecutor is abducted. Episode five, following shocking survival stories, including the story of a woman who had to fight for her life when two knife wielding robbers attacked her in her store in a holdup. Episode six, discovering harrowing but heroic stories of survival, including a girl who was left for unalivement in a flaming car and a couple overwhelmed by a toxic cloud. Episode seven, three survivors recount their close brushes with death, including the story of a car accident, one woman's dangerous experience with a home intruder and a Christmas Eve hostage situation. Episode eight, Masked gunmen threaten to unalive a woman's daughter if she doesn't rob the bank vault where she works. Two teens in a sailboat are swept out to sea for six days. Episode 9. An ex-hospital employee pew-pews a woman who got him fired. Man is trapped in a ravine with a tree branch in his throat for two days. A armed intruder kidnaps and assaults a woman. Last episode of the season... Two students and a professor make it through the unaliving at Virginia Tech University. A Minneapolis school bus carrying 52 children is on a bridge when it collapses. Yeah, just like I thought. Women have every single right to be afraid of men. And men are so obtuse that they don't realize that this is the experience that we have living amongst y'all. I just want to also remind y'all that these are real stories from real people who survived a very traumatic experience. And why was it that majority of the women on that show had to survive another man? Where the men typically have to deal with the elements. And you're telling me that I'm supposed to be afraid of a bear instead of what a man will do to my body before, during, and after he's done with it? Because Mr. Linty Beard had the audacity to try to reframe the question as if we were stupid and didn't understand it the first time. Do you want to be in the woods with a bear that would attack you or with a man that would attack you? The answer is still the same. Also, this happened three years ago. A bear wouldn't do this to my corpse. They may eat me, throw me around a little bit. I might be a little play toy. But I am way more fearful of what a man would do to my corpse than what a bear would do to my corpse. And just because I know we have those type of people, this situation happened, I don't know, a couple months ago. 
the bear would give me a more decent burial than a man ever could. And what's even more stupid about this conversation is that men understand that they too would pick a bear before they pick a man. So why are we acting like men are not the number one sadistic predator on this entire planet? Even men know that. So if you are coming across a man who has a problem with the fact that you would be in the woods with a bear, then with a man, he's the man you need to actually be worried about. Bear versus man, let's get into it. I love that this is where we're at as a society. Everyone and their mother has talked about this video. At least that's what my algorithm is showing. But I thought it would weigh in my two cents. I haven't heard anyone say this. If I were to encounter a bear, I would think that a bear is not interested in attacking me. I don't think a bear is interested in eating me. I think a bear would rather have fish. I know that if a bear were to attack me, it, the bear could do significant damage, but I don't think the bear is inherently interested in attacking me unless I attacked the bear. Unless the bear was a mama bear and had baby bears somewhere nearby or I was uh, threatening to the bear. I think if I saw a bear and I said, let me go behind this tree, that bear would not then try to find me and then assault me. Do you see where I'm going with this? If I were to encounter a man in the woods, just me and this man, no one else in sight or within a uh, screaming range, I, I, would pr I would put money, I would put money on that man doing something bad to me. Because a lot of these men are only civilized and are only decent because society has give, only given them that choice. We have seen how men act, decent civilized men, when they are, when they know that they have immunity to consequences. Think of celebrities or people who have a lot of power. Think of people who fly to certain islands and people who um, are connected in certain industries or who have a certain amount of political power. Is this not where we see the most concentration of some of the most like abhorrent behaviors that men can exhibit towards women and children? Because these men know that they will probably not encounter any kind of consequences for these actions. And we've seen this recently with Diddy. So if I encountered a man in the woods and he is, due to our isolation, he could be pretty confident that he would encounter no consequences for whatever he did to me. I would put money on the fact that that man's probably gonna do something bad to me. Versus a bear, unless I'm fucking with that bear, I think it would be pretty unlikely that that bear would fuck with me. Also, I don't know a single woman. I don't know a single woman who has no incentive to lie to me in our casual discussions. I don't know a single woman who hasn't had something traumatic happen to her at the hands of a man, including myself. I don't know any. I don't know a single one. My mother has had experiences. My sister has had experiences. And the worst part is it's so normalized to so many of these women that they'll casually tell a story. And then I have to be like, you know, you were, in, you were assaulted, right? And they're like, I thought I, you know, they don't even know. That's how normalized it is for these things to happen to women. And we're trying to highlight that to men through this metaphor and even through that, men are choosing to be defensive and, and choosing not to have any empathy towards what we're saying and choosing to internalize um, the message when they know good and well what we're talking about. And that's why we're seeing the movements come to be that are, that are sprouting left and right in terms of women wanting nothing to fucking do with men. The stitches that I'm getting from the women are very interesting because the main part that's being stitched is the part where I said you got a better chance of the bear wanting to smash. And when I said that part, I meant that in different ways. Did I mean that some of y'all are so ugly that even if you was trapped in the forest with a man that he still wouldn't even want to deal with you? Yeah, some of y'all are that ugly, right? And there's some men whose standards are so high that you just can't meet them. So even if you was in the woods with him in the forest, he still wouldn't want nothing to do with you, right? But I also meant that some of y'all are so intolerable and annoying that just your presence would make the man not want to deal with you too. It ain't just your looks, right? But y'all are hyper-focused on the looks part. And most of y'all who hyper-focused on the looks... I know exactly why every time I click on your video, right? right? You got triggered by it because you want to fight for your right to have men want to sleep with you low-key, right? Because that's what the whole stitch seems to be about. Clearly, I know that you don't have to be attractive for men to want to sleep with you. Some of y'all got kids. You're living proof that men don't care what you look like, right? So, of course, I, I don't think that, right? Be for real. 
I got common sense. Something that a lot of y'all lack. Like, stop stitching me if you can't come with no better arguments. And the pick me comment, let it go, bird brain. Find something new. I know you don't have any original thoughts of your own. You have to just keep repeating what you done heard other women say online. But go find one of those women and ask them to give you a new insult because pick me is getting old. Especially when it's coming out of the mouth of women who are on every dating app possible begging men to date them and the men still ain't picking them. I ain't never been on a dating app and never will. I will never be that damn bad to have to be on a dating app, right? However y'all are. And I understand how triggering it can be to see a woman like myself who is not even actively on the dating scene have men want to date me, yet you are actively on the dating scene and nobody wants you. I can understand how triggering that could be. I would be upset with me too. But calling me a pick me, make it make sense first, bird brain. You know what I noticed, y'all? And let me tell you, I don't know if anybody else think like this, you know, but listen to this here. A lot of people, they say they, they think when they get older, they're going to be selling down and things going to be wonderful. They're going to be peaceful. But let me tell y'all this here, this must be a new day because guess what, y'all? People my age are still trying to make it. They still trying to fig figure out how they're going to make ends meet. Some, a lot of people still got their own homes, but they got to worry about the taxes. Some older people, they got to worry about how they're going to pay their utility bills. Some of their little those social security checks ain't enough. And a lot of times people really think that when I get older, when I get social security, when I be able to do, mm -mm, you better get yourself together now for when you get older. Because you, you, yeah, people think that when they get older, mm -mm, y'all, y'all just don't have no idea. The young people don't have no idea. They think that when they get older, they're going to be selling down. And uh, look, I know people that, that people still, I know a woman right now, y'all, in her 70s, still trying to find love. Still trying to find somebody to say, baby, I love you. In her 70s, y'all. That's why I said, uh-uh-uh, I can't do all that, y'all. I, can, I can't be worrying about finding somebody that love me at my age, y'all. Just too, nope, nope, nope. That's why I be saying, y'all, you got to get your life together now for when you get older. Figure out some kind of plan, y'all, that y'all can do when you get older that you won't have to go through a lot of struggles that a lot of older people are going through. And a lot of older people, people think they have a lot of them, they bodies, is, is they have problems with their bodies now. So when they're younger, they're worried about how they're going to take care of the kids, how they're going to feed the husband, how they're going to do the wife, how they're going to do this. Not, look, when you're young, mm -mm. But when you get older, let me tell you this here. It's still going to be something. So just try to do whatever you can do while you're young to make your life as peaceful as you can when you get my age. And when you get older. And when you get, you know, people, look, I'm telling one of you now. Don't say I ain't tell you. Don't say I did not tell you. So while you're young, plan for it when you get older and get a plan that you can stick to that's going to work when you get older. Because you'd be surprised at the people I still, I'm shocked myself, y'all. I'm shocked myself when I see how these, a lot of elderly people is really, they're struggling. They, they're struggling. To, and, and every time you look, something going up. Now, inflation and ate up a whole lot of people's Social Security check, y'all. A whole lot of people, Social Security check, it, it can't pay everything. And they're just struggling, struggling. And everything is, wait till my check come. Everything they try to do, I got to wait for my check. When I get my check, I can't wait my check come. That's, 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 their, whole, that's their whole life. What you going to do, girl? I'm trying to do such and such and such, but I got to wait for my check. When my check comes, that's what I'm going to do. When my check, when I get my check. So look, y'all, I'm telling you now, prepare yourself now for, for later. And make sure you get a plan and more than Social Security. Make sure you get other checks when you get older, not just Social Security and a pension. No, y'all talking about, well, I got my pension. Some people, some people get a pension, it still ain't enough, y'all. So I'm telling you, if you got a business or something, get some kind of plan. I'm trying to tell you where your money can continue to come in. Get like five different, you know, things, money streams coming in. So when you get older, you might have a little better, you know what I mean, money thing coming through. Because inflation eating up checks like crazy, y'all. Talk to you later on the next video.